Hello YouTube, my name is Narcotis. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents Squaresoft. Oh man, seeing those two splash screens, I mean, if you're like me and you played a lot of PlayStation games in the late 90s, you, you, you share that with me, right? You, you know that those, that splash screen, those two screens right there, which basically means this game is going to be awesome. There was a time in the era of great chaos when the Earth and the Moon were at war with each other. A daredevil from the Moon piloted a bizarre aircraft. It was feared, and because of its shape, called Ironhide. That's right. So, uh, this game was released in the late 90s, 98, I believe, uh, or 97, I don't know, I, I think 98 in the States. Anyway, what this game is, it's, it's a side-scrolling shoot-em-up game, um, made by Squaresoft, which is pretty unique, they didn't really make a, lot, a whole lot of games like this, um, but anyway, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna finish, let this finish here. Ein Honder. Oh man, this game, you guys. This game is so good. If you haven't played this game, um, well, you can you can get it on the PlayStation Network, I believe. It's you know like just a few bucks, and it's fantastic. Uh, if you're like me, you played this game for the first time on a demo CD. Hang on one second. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the model ship with three gun pods. I'll explain what all that is in a second. Um, but anyway, if you're like me, you played this game for the first time on some demo CD that came with the game. I can't remember which game it came with. But, this game is freaking sweet. Anyway, so, the way this game works, Einhander, Einhander means single-handed, uh, which is the, and Einhander is the name of your ship. But single-handed refers to, like, a sto style of, like, sword fighting. So that's kind of what, you know, it's, a. Uh, like symbolic or whatever. But what this, uh, what, why it's called Einhander is because the ship has this little manipulator arm, which uh, allows you to pick up like weapons and shoot them. See, I've got the spread gun here. I don't really like this gun too much, to be honest with you. I'm only picking it up to show you guys because I'm probably never going to use it again. It also shoots backwards. That's pretty cool. But um, uh, there's all there's like tons of different guns you can get. Um, some of them are more rare than others. Cannon's a pretty good one. This wasp here that I'm about to get is really good. Um, and they and the manipulator arm can be held at the top or bottom of your ship. And depending on where you hold it, the gun sometimes has different functionalities. Uh, this wasp in particular will uh, shoot straightforward missiles or homing missiles, depending on which way you hold it. Um, but most guns are pretty straightforward. Uh, like this Vulcan. Like, if you have it on top of your ship, it just shoots straight. If you have it on the bottom, it shoots at an angle. You know, and that's, like, these things are important to sort of master and, and understand. Like, a lot of guns will shoot backwards, too, uh, if you have it on top or bottom, like I showed you with the spreader. Um, but most of them are just kind of... It's all about positioning, so... Anyway, here's a mini-boss here. I'm gonna try to kill him in a very particular way. See, there's a lot of secrets in this game. Um, and uh, if you do things right, you can... Like, secrets will give... See, I just got the... Uh, I did it. Sweet! I did it! Alright. Um, and there's a lot... There's like three secret bonus things. Like, they're like little tiny objectives that aren't very... That aren't explicit at all. Like, there's very like... You have to kind of figure them out or look them up on game facts in my case <laughs> but if you complete them you'll get a little uh, notification at the bottom of your screen that says S bonus and um, in our case here if we get the third S bonus we get to a secret area of the level and this is as far as I know this is the only like alternate I mean the only alternate path in a level acquired by completing one of these secret bonuses um, and I feel very proud because I actually figured this one out on my own by playing the demo. <laughs> because the first level is the only level available in the demo. I played the hell out of that demo. 
and I rented this game anytime I could, but I could never really find it for sale. Um, you know, when I was old enough to like start buying things for myself. Um, but this game, oh, so cool. And there's a sometimes the secrets will give you. Uh, sometimes they're not as like explicit even as the S bonus. You know, sometimes they don't even say that. Uh, like sometimes they'll just give you like a really rare gun pod or something. Um, which hopefully I'll be able to show that off if I'm good enough. Uh, I don't know. This game's this game's pretty difficult. I gotta say that. Um, there, I'm done with the spreader. It's garbage. Okay. Um, the wasp, in particular, is an interesting weapon. It's a very common weapon, but it's it's got such a the homing is such an interesting utility. Well, look at this. Like these enemies, they're not on the same two-dimensional plane as you, so like you couldn't even kill them if you you know, just by regular shooting. Um, and that comes into play in some of the later missions. Anyway, this is the first boss. He's like a gunmetal blue right now, but if you didn't complete that, get into that secret area like I did, he would be like a like a camo green. Um, but the gunmetal blue sort of indicates that he's a harder boss than normal. Um, but you know, it's awesome. All right, so this this is pretty cheesy right here. If you just send here and shoot him, he'll shoot at you, but the bullets will never connect with you. He's always aiming too low. All right, and then he's gonna do that business. You gotta dodge those. And then, basically, the fight's over at this point. Yep. Once that blows up, the fight is over. He's dead. The only way you can die at this point is by running into his big stupid head. Oh, I forgot to mention, you could adjust the speed of your ship. See, I'm going super slow. You can move up. Well, yep. There's like four different settings. I like to go to the second fastest setting. Um, anyway. That's the end of the first mission. Pretty good stuff, right? So, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and... I'll, uh, cut this video off now, and I'll see you guys around next time.